Um, I have six questions I want to ask you guys uh, this year. First of all, tell me again um, how and when your quartet came together so the audience knows what's going on. We're in this group called Chamber Music Connection, and um, Anna first joined, our first violinist Anna first joined with um, three other people, and then someone, uh, three years ago, someone left, and then I joined with her, and then two years ago, someone graduated, and then Kate joined us, and then last year, Tori joined us. <laughs> wow. I'm glad. I don't know how you kept that in order. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> so you guys, the Dodge Quartet, where's the name Dodge come from again? Tell me. That comes from the um, the founding members, first letters of their names. And then even though we had personal changes, we kept that name. And it's just the history um, of the history. We'll keep going on that name. Tell me, uh, tell me again who you're coaching with. Who are your primary coaches this year? We normally coach with Debbie Price and Stephanie Wong, Price Wong, but sometimes we'll have coaches from, like, just coaches from, from CMT, like the program that we're at. Every Friday we get a coach. So sometimes we have people coming in from other places. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your um, uh, repertoire. Now, does, do, does Debbie and Stephanie, do they pick your repertoire or do you guys kind of have input? How does that work? Um, so like every year they suggest some pieces that um, we might like and we have like a sight reading night and then after that we we kind of like think about which piece we like the best and we kind of choose it that way. And I'm sure that was easy. Right? It was kind of like a group thing and you know, everybody liked the same piece, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a quartet. I know exactly what that means. You know? so it's easy. You end up holding on to pieces like for years and years, thinking maybe this year I'll get my piece in. You know that I really. <laughs> um, the Mendelssohn is like nine minutes long. So what's it like sustaining? You know, uh, uh, you know your Ginistera and, and a lot of most of the pieces are you know four and five minutes. This is like almost twice as much. Um, how does it feel to to maintain that through the Mendelssohn? How, how are you guys uh, adapting to that? Um, it's kind of like just this building story so like it's easy to think about like the different characters that pop up into it to just try and um, trying to keep telling that story to the audience so that way it doesn't feel like nine minutes to us <laughs> right uh the compulsory work this year is carlos simon's uh elegy tell me how you're coming to that piece and i mean how how it's how well tell me how you're relating to that piece when when we play this piece it, we read about like the background of it and we thought that um like it's very powerful and moving. And we think that that's kind of what pushes that piece and what brings out like the, um, brings out like the sorrow in it. And it's something that we love to make beautiful in order to like honor the memory of the people who this piece represents. How has your quartet rehearsal and preparation and performance style developed? And, and what's it like now compared to what it was when you started a couple of years ago? I love how the way it changed. When, um, when I was in my early days with the original members, um, the cellist, uh, Jackson, used to be like, the, I feel like the leader and um, was like a really good coach for us. And, and now, um, as the years have gone by, um, the members who have changed are more close to my age. And now I feel like we're all contributing and learning how to work together in, in a way that we can all contribute our own ideas to make it better, and and I also feel like um, like having members who are the same age is it also makes the rehearsals like more more fun, and it feels um, feels very fun to work with each other. And even though the people changed, I like I, I like aspects from from both generations, and and um, and I um, I hope that in college I will find a a similar. Um, like five. Do you guys have fun in your rehearsals? Are you serioso about it? I mean, what? <laughs> um, we, so we obviously take something seriously, but um, no one ever takes anything personally, and we always like to crack a joke here and there, and we, we have a lot of fun. That, you know, speaking of jokes, uh, do you guys have any backstories that you want to share? I love getting the backstory on like some fun adventure that you guys had or what. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, wait a minute. Is Debbie in the room with you guys? No. no. Okay. okay. 
So, so no, seriously, um, is there any kind of uh, just like, hey, we had this adventure here or something crazy happened here or this was really important to us? Anything like that come along in the last couple of years? The three of us, this summer, the three of us attended, like me, Kate and Anna, we attended a program called Encore. And it was a three, it was a three week program in the summer. And I think it just really got us bonded as a group. And um, when we came back to play together, it was just so much easier to come up with ideas and play together because we spent three straight weeks with each other. Yeah, that kind of immersion really does help. I mean, it's one thing to have the weekly coaching thing, but it's a whole different level or experiential level to get into this immersion kind of thing. Yeah. Who, then did you play together in a group one like with one other with one other person and then yes. that must have been really strange for the other person right because <laughs> yeah. you guys had hidden handshakes and signals and they were like <laughs> <laughs>